Do you know someone amazing? Someone who has a unique job or hobby? Maybe someone involved with an interesting organization, be it a creative community or a charitable mission. There are people like this hidden in our community, living their daily lives all the while achieving incredible goals, creating works of art, inspiring others to be their best, or just generously donating their time. This show is about putting a spotlight on these members of our community. I'm Ben Harris, a 2017 graduate of Shrewsbury High School and alumnus of the SHS Speech and Debate Team, here to introduce a new show that will be hosted by different members of the current team each episode, showcasing their talents as they work to deliver these enriching community stories to you as we celebrate these quiet but undoubtedly impressive individuals. Simply put, we want you to stay with us for a moment, because these are the people you have to meet. Hi, I'm Tisha Marwa. I'm a current member of the Shrewsbury High School Speech and Debate Team, and here I have the Shrewsbury Unified Basketball Team. Guys, would you mind introducing yourself? Sure. I'm Kathy LaRoche. I'm the Special Ed Director at the high school. Mm -hmm. Hi, uh, Andy McIsaac, a member of the Shrewsbury community. My name is Rahul. I'm the captain of the Unified Basketball. Nice. I'm Deca McSweeney. I'm a senior at the high school with Rahul, and I'm also a captain of the basketball team. Nice. All right, guys. So who introduced the idea of a team to the high school? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, about four years ago, um, I had heard about a program actually up in Maine, where, where I'm originally from, uh, where they were launching a unified basketball program uh, in the state of Maine. A friend of mine had sent me a video about his son participating in the program, and I said, and I thought this would be fantastic to have something like this at Shrewsbury High. Um, so I did reach out uh, you know, to, to the school department, was put in touch with Kathy, and they had already had some preliminary discussions uh, with Mass Special Olympics, and, and there was, the, there was the, um, the start of a program, that, um, but it was really what happened is uh, that, that needed some funding. Um, so myself and other members of the community got together and, and launched a fundraising effort so we could um, really get the program up and, uh, up and started and we had a tremendous response uh, and we were able to fund the program not only for the first year but for the next uh, few years going forward and that was four years ago. Mm -hmm. so. We had previously had a unified track and field team mm -hmm. and so when Andy came over with the idea we, we were interested and we had actually tried previously we were delighted to, to partner with him and, and he really helped us push it forward. Mm -hmm. So that's really what inspired you, right? Well, I think what really inspired me is, you know, I was a high school athlete. Um, you know, the idea of participating for your school team, uh, being, you know, it's really um, making part of a community. Uh, and I'm a real big, big believer that, you know, uh, inclusion, that everyone should have an opportunity mm -hmm. uh, to participate. And I think the Unified Program does that um, and gives all students uh, the ability to participate in school-based sports. All right, so how did you get it up and running? Well, I think you know, primarily we, we started with a fundraising effort, and once we were able to secure the funding, we had tremendous response um, you know, from the community, um, well exceeded our, our, our funding goals. Um, and then really, I think, you know, Kathy and, and her team put together you know, the, uh, the parameters for, by which to set up the program within the school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How'd you get like students to join? We told them that, mm -hmm. that we were starting the program. Did you like advertise it? There was no was need. It was no. like literally a couple of um, no. um, announcements at school uh -huh. and people knew about the unified track and field and were super excited and people like Declan and Rahul joined the team immediately. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's great to see. So why did you do it? Um, you know, I was inspired because you know, I've, I've had members of my family <coughs> who, who participate in Special Olympics. Um, I, I think you know it's a fantastic program, but really, what I really loved about this is that it was done with inside the school. I mean, yeah. giving ch kids the opportunity to wear the school colors, right? Yeah. Have the fan, this, their fellow students cheer for them, and then carry that on throughout you know throughout the rest of the day with uh, within the halls of the high school. Definitely. So, how's how's the high school team different from like a Special Olympics team? Maybe Declan would. Mm -hmm. Declan, do you have an idea about that? Yeah, I okay. mean. <clears throat> um, I've volunteered for Special Olympics programs, whether it be through skiing or I've also volunteered for baseball Special Olympics programs. Um, and I just think on the high school level, it's so much different because 
we have a couple games a year at home. We have home games just like any of the other varsity sports. Mm -hmm. And just to see how many people come out, whether it's like the whole football team, the volleyball team, just like friends of all the players and peers. And I just think that that's awesome just to see how many people come out and like at the end of the year having a banquet, getting together with your team, receiving a varsity letter, a varsity bar mm -hmm. is just like so much different just to be a part of the school community when normally with Special Olympics or something along those lines it would be outside of school. Mm -hmm. So it's more about like the school spirit and getting everyone involved. Yeah. My name is Chris, I'm a senior and I'm a captain for the Unified Basketball Team. So one thing that we think is awesome this year is just how many new people we have on the team. We um, Last year we didn't have even half as many kids, it was more around 15 and this year we have 38 kids on the team which is just super awesome and it's been a great time and we've been winning a lot. Chris, did you want to talk about that? Yeah, yeah. So adding on, so adding on to what Declan said about the winning, um, we're like, we're undefeated due to like all the hard work we put in and all the fun we've had. I feel like we've just been like having a great balance of hard work and fun. Besides that, uh, we just have a great coaching staff too. So how many like people joined when you first started? Um, Declan, do you know the first year? Uh, the first year, if I, 15, I mean, so. I don't know the numbers, but probably like 12 to 15 mm -hmm. kids. Um, and, and, and I think we kind of capped it at that. I, th I believe there was more interest than that, and we felt like for the first year we needed to get enough students for the team mm -hmm. and then hold it at that while we just kind of figured things out and made sure that we knew what we were yeah. doing and we had a good experience for all of the kids. Yeah. Um, the first three years, definitely, it was a lot more kind of pick and choose who is going to be on the team. Um, like anyone who wanted to could definitely reach out, but it was, there were a few more steps, whereas this year we opened it up to um, almost anyone who wanted to play and we <coughs> immediately had 38 people signed up. Wow. <laughs> so j just to go from like 12 to 15 kids to 38, just because mm -hmm. like that is how many people have like been to the games, seen the games going on and just wanted to be a part of it was awesome. It definitely like grew after that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, um, Declan, how do you think this like inspired you and other um, kids who joined the team? Yeah, I think um, maybe a lot of people, even me freshman year, I didn't know what to expect going into mm -hmm. it. Um, but just from the first practice, being able to like just get in the gym, start playing basketball, and just realize how much fun it is every day. And like after school, yeah. it's not. It's not even seen as a commitment. It's like something you look forward to three days a week. Like we have practices twice a week mm -hmm. and games once a week. And just to be able to like get on the bus and everyone to just kind of get amped up and go to the games yeah. is definitely fun. And especially, I think what's been inspiring to me is off the court and what happens there is just like in the hallways, like being able to see people and be like, what's up? Like, are you ready for practice today? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And just kind of, especially this year, we. Um, have been communicating a lot more and like using technology and just like kind of like being able to communicate as a group and people are saying like hey I have a certain lunch like if anyone wants to come down and like meet me we can all have lunch together and like there'll be like 15 kids just at a table together from the team so I just think that's awesome to mm -hmm. see and it's definitely inspired me to want to do more things along these lines outside of school or just in the future. Mm -hmm. So who's um, responsible for pairing up the students with um, the players with the students? I would say it would be the coach. Mm -hmm. Is that accurate? Yeah, Definitely. it would okay. be, we have three coaches and kind of in the first few weeks they watch and see who's talking to who, who kind of already has friendships and like has already formed those connections and from there they'll kind of like you don't necessarily get paired up with a partner. Mm -hmm. It's um, more along the lines of like, you just see each other like at practice, no one's necessarily paired up. They're just working together more mm -hmm. just through like friendships you make. But like in games, they do um, have two partner athletes on the court at once and three um, like athletes on the court. So um, they definitely kind of arrange those in a way of people they know work well together. And that mm -hmm. would be the coaches. So once you join, they like keep you with the same student all throughout? I mean, yeah, me and Rahul have definitely worked like, together yeah. like day in and day out and unified since freshman mm -hmm. year, so that's mm -hmm. four years. But um, it's been awesome just to be able to like form that relationship and be able <coughs> to play 
so much. Mm -hmm. Rahul, what do you think about playing with Declan? <laughs> is it fun? It is fun. It is fun. Um, who do you guys play? We play um, Algonquin is definitely mm -hmm. someone we've played most of the years. Mm -hmm. Auburn. Um, this year there were a few new teams, Hopkinton being one of them. Um, and every year there's been new towns kind of popping up with unified teams, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's the, the program has grown tremendously um, thanks to the, the efforts of Mass Special Olympics and um, <clears throat> the main uh, the Massachusetts Interscholastic Association as well. Um, I think when it first started, it was probably about 12 or 15 teams. Last year was 25 teams. This year, the program statewide has grown to 55 teams. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, every school, you know, um, is really, I think, <clears throat> really benefited from you know, seeing th th this type of program implemented mm -hmm. uh, and more schools are looking into it and in fact in some of the local colleges now are looking nice. to build unified mm -hmm. programs. Mm -hmm. um, was, so. was Shrewsbury one of the first teams to start? We were within that first like dozen or so. Yeah, yeah. so that just influenced more towns to start. I as believe well. it did, yeah. yeah. Um, so how often are practices? Uh, practices we have two days a week unless obviously there's like problems with the length of the week or like we miss days of school but um, there's two practices a week and then one game a week once the season starts but there's like two or three weeks at the beginning of the season where we only have practices and that's two or three practices in the week depending on when we can get gym time but mm -hmm. there's usually after school um, plenty of open time for us to get in the gym. Yeah, so it's like very manageable, you would say? Yeah, and practices are an hour long after school, so they're like the perfect amount of time to just like get in and practice whatever it may be that day that the team is working on. Mm -hmm. And do you guys go to the practices and like administer the games? Uh, the, the coaches do that. Hi, my name is Kevin O'Connor. I am the coach of the Unified Basketball Team here at Shrewsbury High School. This is my second year as head coach and my third year helping out altogether. Um, the team has grown a whole lot over the three years that I've been involved and now we have a whole bunch of kids involved, all ranges of kids and it's just so great for everybody involved. Um, we're having a great season so far and all the kids are very excited. So it's really fun to watch and be a part of. It's a great community atmosphere. I think it really, um I'm, I'm really amazed about is, is how well the Shrewsbury community, specifically the high school community, um, really supports the, the team, the mm -hmm. athletes. Um, they'll have the pep band there. They'll you know they'll yeah. have the signs we made. Uh, I think Declan alluded to the football team will sit there and you know this is mm -hmm. the middle of their season. Um, mm -hmm. They'll be sitting there and they'll be cheering on um, you know, their fellow <coughs> students, and that's what really makes the uh, I think the program so exciting and, and, and well received. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I saw like the elementary school kids there. Mm -hmm. as yeah, well. they come to. We have one big game every year. It's kind of our homecoming game, like our last home game of the year. And they've always come and made signs for all the players, mm -hmm. which is awesome. They've been doing that for I think the past three years, mm -hmm. um, which has been great just to see like they have like upwards of like 50, 100 kids just come in to like watch and cheer and just kind of make some noise for the team. Mm -hmm. So how would you say this is like a community event? I think especially the fact that people who aren't even in the school um, mm -hmm. are coming to so many of our games just through like hearing about it. Um, word kind of spreads around town and just everyone has kind of picked it up and like carried it away and it's just been so good to see that as well as like all the students, teachers. I know a bunch of my teachers have come in to just see the games and they always ask me like, oh, when's the next home game for Unified? I want to come mm. or like bring my family just yeah. so that's been awesome so can I oh jump yes, in? Um, so uh, adding on to what Declan said it's also one of the one of the games is a class cup event so mm -hmm. it, and when you think about community community is our Shrewsbury High School community mm -hmm. as well and I think I know that you talked about it earlier the benefits that the kids who are playing um, they have huge benefits if they're on the team but I think that the benefits to the community our Shrewsbury High School community are um, they're intangible and they're incalculable. There are just so many benefits like the lunchtime um, uh, opportunities for kids that they might not have had otherwise and the relationships that they see kids in the hall that they know now that they may not have. So those are the, the, those are the things that I really love to see mm -hmm. at the high right. school. Raul, I think it really explained the benefits that mm -hmm. he's seen for being a part of the team for four years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Rahul, what do you think about the team? How has it helped you? Have you made new friends? 
I like to play unified basketball with my friends. Mm -hmm. It is a lot of fun. All the players are really nice. We have big team this year. You meet new people and make new friends. I have played for four years. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yes. Are your friends on the team? Yes. Nice. So at the end of the day, it's not really about winning. It's just about getting <laughs> everyone like hyped up. We do like to win. <laughs> we do like to win, oh. right? yes. They do like to win. <laughs> no, but you're absolutely right. It's it's not that's not the most important thing. There are a lot of other things that are important. Right. It, it's about you know opportunity. It's about inclusion. Mm -hmm. It's about learning and you know about people, uh, interacting with people f from different backgrounds. Um, but there is some comp competition. Yeah. I mean, some of these and go against these other schools. You know. Everybody loves to win. Mm -hmm. um, it's not the end all and be all, but you know it's definitely competitive. Um, and you know somebody. Sh uh, um, what I love about it is somebody puts a shot in, um, whether it's Shrewsbury or the opposing mm -hmm. team. Everybody's cheering, and and we're really relishing in the excitement that the, the that the athletes mm -hmm. um, are getting to um, express. I think mm -hmm. also a lot of people are surprised their first game that they come. They're not really sure like what to expect. Um, but like a lot of our games, we put up 70, 80 points this year. So like wow. <laughs> seeing high scores is not uncommon and because right. we play two 20 minute halves. So those are definitely like, it's a full game of basketball. So mm -hmm. it's constantly moving. There's no real stoppage of game and it's definitely a lot of fun, right? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Score a lot of points. <laughs> yes. Rahul is one of the biggest shooters. On yeah, the I saw, I saw. <laughs> So would you guys be open to more unified sports events? We, we would love it. And in fact, I think that Mr. Lane, our new um, PE director, has arranged to have a bowling team at Shrewsbury High yeah. School beginning this season. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of exciting. I, um, I, I don't know if, if all of that is set yet or if the team has been established, but I know that that's mm -hmm. in the works. There's um, a unified track team, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how's yes. that? Yes, that's awesome. There well, are a lot of track too, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you like track. What yes. events do you do in track? For track, do you do the hundred meter? What do you do? Do you do shot put? I shot put. Mm -hmm. Javelin. Javelin. Oh, no, nice. Mm -hmm. And do you run? What run. do you run? Of a hundred meters. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. So it's, it's it's all about <laughs> just involving the community mm -hmm. and helping everyone get to know each other, right? Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you would like to add? No, I just think it's a fantastic program. I think it should you know every school should have it. Um, you know, I think that the Shrewsbury community, Shrewsbury High School community in particular, has done a fantastic job of supporting, mm -hmm. establishing, and, and growing the program. And, and I just love seeing the, you know um, the opportunity. Of mm -hmm given to all students to participate in school-based sports. It's all about inclusion. Mm -hmm, definitely. Everyone should have the same opportunity and mm -hmm. have the same right to you know, participate in an activity, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so uh, who's, who's Jake? Oh, <laughs> Jake's my son. Uh, he's a sophomore at the high school. Uh, he is a partner athlete on the unified team mm -hmm. this year. So uh, he's loving it. It's been a great experience for him. Uh, and he's looking forward to you know, participating in more unified events uh, you know, as he uh, progresses through his high school career. Mm -hmm. are, there, are there any other people who've like, contributed in this process? There were a lot of people right. who contributed. So certainly we depend upon our athletic director, Mr. Costa, mm -hmm. um, the uh, pupil personnel director, um, Meg Belsito, for her support. And previous to that, it was Melissa McGuire who supported the program. Certainly Mr. Bazidlo. Um, who's our principal, and who am I forgetting that um, has been helpful in getting this? I mean, so well, many people. Members of the community, I think, when we first started yeah. the, the oh, fundraising, definitely. you know, uh, Hannah Kane, Representative Hannah Kane, mm -hmm. was, was fantastic mm -hmm. in, um, you know, getting the right people together um, and, and helping us get the fundraising program up, up, up and running. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, but just members of the community who come out, uh, yeah. I think the parents uh, of the athletes definitely. as well. Um, it's a real great community, um, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Raul's wearing one of the uh, Play Unified uh, sweatshirts. So mm -hmm. which you can get at the at the colonial shop yep. at the high school. So <laughs> um, that's another way to support the team, and um, so it's um, it's mm -hmm. just a real community effort. Yeah. I think that's mm -hmm. what's great about the program. So who are going to be the captains for next year? Next year, uh, I think definitely one name we could give out is Gage Carey. He's oh. put in a lot of hard work yep. through mm -hmm. 
he's been here since his freshman year, so mm -hmm. this is going to be this was his third year on the team, um, and he's always spreading a message that everyone's got to be working hard, no excuses, mm -hmm. and everyone's just got to be ready to compete. Mm -hmm. So he's he's definitely got the competitive side. Nice. Hi, my name is Gage Carey. I'm a great student in Shrewsbury High School. I enjoy unified basketball because we get a lot of exercise and we also lose some weight. Also, I have a few, few accomplishments that I made in my life. I passed the science MCAS, I passed the math MCAS, and I'm doing a great job in the Shrewsbury High School especially the unified basketball and unified basket unified track team. What are the highlights from the season? Oof. I know. I think yeah. all the points we scored. I mean, we put up <laughs> 80 points in a game, which was really big. Yeah. <laughs> um, in a game? In one game, wow. yeah, which was awesome. My favorite moment, I would have to say, was not on the court. It was the, the email that one of the players, Justin, sent out, not an email, but he sent, pushed something out onto Schoology on the um, Unified Teams page and mm -hmm. said, hey guys, I have third lunch today if anybody wants to have lunch with me. And that was the story that Declan was talking yeah. about, that they had to push three tables together because they had so many kids who wanted to sit together uh, as a result of that. And so to me, there's all those victories on the court, but then it's all those other victories that are, that are really moving and powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, Rahul, is there anything you, you know, remember about the season that was, you know, particularly great? Did you, what was your Did favorite Did you like score a shot or like? something? I scored a shot. Mm -hmm. scored a lot what, of what did that feel like? Um, was it fun? It was fun. It was yeah. fun. Was, was everyone exciting. cheering? Everyone was cheering. Mm-hmm. Did you see like the pep band, and the audience, and all the students, and the posters? A lot yeah. of people, right? Yes. Mm. I think that concludes it. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you for Thank being you. here. Um, so I'm Tisha Marwa once again, and if you guys have anything you'd like to share, make sure to uh, contact down below.